Mavs fans, we've got some Dallas Mavericks news today with the NBA getting ready to start up again. But before I get into that, I want to make sure you're subscribed to the All Things Mavs channel because we're growing like crazy. We need your help to grow a little bit more. You hit that subscribe button down below. You can scroll down in the comment section in the description. Go to youtube.com slash all things Mavs and make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any of our Dallas Mavericks coverage because guess what? The Mavs are back, baby. They are reopening their practice facility today. They let the players come back. Seth Curry has already tweeted out about how excited he is to be back in the facility. And really, the Mavs are one of the last few teams to open up their facilities. There's been a lot of teams that have already said, you know, we're going to open it up. We're going to let players come back. But Mark Cuban and the Mavs said, no, we're going to take the slow and smart approach. We're going to stay safe. We're going to stay healthy. We trust our guys to be in good conditioning without us. Heck, they're grown men. They're professional athletes. They know how to take care of their bodies, but it's good to get the players back on the court. Another important piece of news here is that international players that have been overseas during the whole crazy pandemic are allowed back into the United States now based on some kind of laws and a bunch of rules that you guys don't care about. The important thing is that they're allowed back. Rick Carlisle was asked about opening up the facility. He said, we probably are one of the last facilities to reopen, but I'm actually proud of that fact because I think it's been the right decision. And I also know our players have been doing a great job on their own of staying in shape and taking care of themselves. So we have a high level of trust with our players. And that right there gets me excited. Players are already ready to come back and be on the court. And if you're as excited I am, as I am, I want you to type MFFL in the comment section below to let me know that you're a Mavs fan for life and you are truly, truly excited that the Mavs are coming back and opening up that practice facility. Really, all in all, it's just going to be good to get the guys back out on the court. You got Luka, you got Seth Curry, Tim Hardaway Jr., Porzingis, and Dorian Finney-Smith all getting ready to come back, be thrown back into the starting five, compete at a high level once again, and maybe, just maybe, even get thrown straight into some playoff basketball. For a young team like this and a young starting five like this, that playoff competition is going to mean a lot. Now, let's circle back around to this thing about NBA players and international players being allowed back in the U.S. Sean Sharania of The Athletic says, sources say NBA players and staff who are currently outside the U.S. are now allowed to re-enter via the new U.S. Department of Homeland Security issue. Prior, prior travel restrictions existed due to the coronavirus pandemic. And we all know it was a big problem. It was something that really players couldn't fly, they couldn't travel. And that's a big problem for the Dallas Mavericks, who have got a lot of international players on the active roster right now. Luka Doncic was over in Slovenia during a lot of this, but we all know he was training there. Kristaps Porzingis might have been spending some home time in Latvia. Boban Marjanovic from Serbia. JJ Barea is from Puerto Rico. And then we've also got Maxi Kleba from Germany. Dwight Powell, who's hurt right now, is from Canada. But they're all allowed back. And the Mavs can finally get the band back together and start practicing once again in their own practice facility. And hopefully, just hopefully, We'll get back to some regular season and playoff games as soon as possible. I'm extremely excited and I'm really excited about this channel. I want to make sure you guys are subscribed. Again, if you're as excited as I am, type MFFL in the comment section below. Let me know just how excited you are. Thanks for watching Mavs fans and I'll talk to you next time.